Okay, I think we got this. All right, let's try it out. All right, uh, all right. So today we are doing, um, what was it? We are doing uh, Alfie, Alfie's in Goldshore, which is uh, recommended level twenty-four. Yeah, recommended level twenty-four for Goldshore. But apparently to get through here on the Moonstruck Coast, it's like recommended level 28 for some reason. Don't ask questions. It's dumb. Stu it's very stupid. I think they kind of assumed that you would do Alfin's last for some reason. But no, you always do Alfin as soon as possible because he's a good boy and needs to be done as soon as possible. Oh, hey, Cyrus, what's up? Uh, should you again have need of any discern of a discerning mind, I would be happy to offer my talents. All right, um, I'm bringing, what is it, Olby and Primrose to try and make it so that I don't always use the same characters. So we'll see how that turns out, question mark. Uh, what can I do for you here? A tale? Your travels have brought you to Goldshore, where a fever is running rampant. You roll up your sleeves and get to work. To continue the tale? Yes, please. Let's do it. I'm excited. Alfie just coming in. The story so far. And so, Alfin left behind his sleepy village in hopes of bringing succor to the suffering. He asked for no coin for his services to honor the man who once saved his life. With the words of his friend Zeph in his heart, he wandered from town to town until his travels brought him to Goldshore. In this idyllic town by the sea, surely there was someone in need of his aid. Surely. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite like a town by the sea. Not like the one that that Tressa lived in or anything that you already visited. Even if the air is a bit briny for my liking. Go for a swim? Ha! Don't mind if I do. <gasps> hmm? Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Old Zeke's been stricken too. That's ten in just a week. Hmm. Oh. The fever's spreading fast. Whatever are we to do? Now that you mention it. I hear there's a traveling apothecary in town. Oh? Word travels fast. <laughs> Aye. They say she whipped up a tonic that cured one boy's fever overnight. <gasps> I see. She? So I've got a colleague in town. I wonder if she'd be interested in talking shop. Ow! Oh, baby! Tiny baby child. Ah, it hurts! Oh no, the town is down with the sickness. Thanks, Aqua. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> Are you okay, little girl? Here, you drop something. A seashell, is it? <gasps> Thanks! Shucks. Looks like you scraped up your knee. Mind if I have a look? Oh, I bet that's smart. I know the feeling. I'm always tripping over my own two feet. But every time you pick yourself up, you find yourself that much tougher for it. All right. That'll do her. One of my best healing balms there. Thanks. I'm, I'm Ellen. Hi. I'm Elfin. That almost rhymes. Eh? Ellen Elfin. Amazing. <laughs> Are you a medicine man? <laughs> you might say that. I'm what they call an apothecary. Wow. I've never met one of you before. Nice to meet you, Mr. Pocketary. Now listen here. Elfin will do. Can I ask you a favor? Oh? Go for it. Hmm. It's my sister, Flynn. She caught a fever and she's been in bed all week. She's always crying, and no matter how much she sleeps, it just gets worse and worse. Oh. Say no more. I'll fix her up right as rain. After all, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Our house is right there. Just right in front of us. Okay. That makes things easy. Isn't she adorable, Aqua? All right, time to steal this lady. Oh, I already stole everything from her. Can I allure her? 
A hundred percent chance, but her strength is nothing, so nah. Alright, let's get let's get over here before I just steal everything. Oh well. Is there any hope for her, milady? Hmm. It's just the fever that's going around. My remedy will have her on her feet in no time. How are you? And down it goes. Well, Flynn, did it help? Yes. I feel better already. Oh, my. I just feel her forehead. The fever's all but gone. How can we ever repay you? Ever since their father died, I've raised my two girls all on my own. I fear I have little in the way of coin. My sympathies. You have my sympathies. Worry not, your kind words are payment enough. Thank you. Oh, you are too kind, my lady. <laughs> Just doing my job, and with that, I should be on my way. Oh, and of course... Should the symptoms return, please don't hesitate to call me. Howdy. Here I am! <laughs> Where's my patient? I heard a poor girl is suffering from a terrible fever. Alfin! She's right there, Alfin! Oh? Just sit tight. I'll have you feeling better in no time. <laughs> What are you talking about, Aqua? Absolutely not. Aqua doesn't trust other al uh, apothecary, and um, Aqua, I, that sounds very rude to just assume that people are bad all the time. Aqua, shame, shame. She looks just fine to me. Hey, Ellen, what are you thinking, bringing this scruffy-looking stranger into our home? Hmm? Oh, pardon, ma'am, but uh, I'm an apothecary. I only meant to... Really? Who are you now? My daughter's already been treated by a professional, so I'm afraid we won't be needing your services. Good day, sir. <laughs> no, it's fine, Aqua. I'm being silly. I'm joking. Tough crowd. <sighs> she made it sound like I'm some kind of quack salver. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elfin. I didn't know there was another pocket fairy in town. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your sister's feeling better and that's all that matters, right? Thanks. Thanks anyway, Alfin. See ya. Take care, Ellen. Try not to catch a cold. Mm -hmm. You too. Hmm. That must have been the apothecary that everyone was buzzing about. Girl's forehead wasn't even warm. Whoever this rival of mine is, she sure knows her stuff. But I wouldn't give to be able to pick her brain. Diddly. Oh, now Ellen won't even let me inside anymore. <gasps> Can I steal her stuff? Oh, wait, I pr pressed the wrong button. There we go. Time to steal all of her stuff. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, Ellen. <laughs> An impish girl who lives in Goldshire with her mother, Marlene, and her twin sister, Flynn. She takes after her father in both appearance and demeanor, a fact she's rather proud of, and strives to cheer up her mother with her sister's help. Aw, very cute. Oh, press L to hear, tra hear travel banner. That was it. Ho -ho! Why stealing? I always steal. Let's be honest. Never buy anything. Always steal. <laughs> always steal candy from children. It's very important. Your skill in brewing salves is most admirable. Well, you've got your sword play to boast of. Me, I've just got my medicine. Just so, my friend. Neither curing nor fighting is a contest as such, but we all hope to triumph in our own field. And indeed, meeting fellows in the same trade can inspire a man, make him strive just a little harder. At least, it is so among men of the sword. 
I guess you've had your run-ins with rivals who you hated losing to. That would be all of them. But unlike swordsmen, the world can never have too many gifted healers. My thinking exactly. That's why I need to keep getting better so I can help as many folks as I can. A noble ambition. Oh. All right. Hey, thank you. John. Thank you. Oh, mysterious What's new. What's all the hubbub? The mysterious new Paca fairy. Oh, miss. How can we ever repay you? Thanks to your tincture, my dear husband is out of bed for the first time in weeks. My word, it worked like a miracle. And for such a modest fee, no less. You could charge tenfold and it would still be a steal. <laughs> oh, you are far too kind. I was only doing my job. Seeing your hail and hearty smiles is payment enough for me. Aww. After all, we apothecaries have a sworn duty to ease suffering wherever we go. Do we not? Of course, indeed, Alfie. And, and traveling apothecary just fist bumping in solidarity. Fine words, those. You must be the apothecary everyone's been talking about. Indeed. Judging from that satchel of yours, I trust I am speaking to a colleague? You bet. Though, I've only started my journey. I'm Alfin. Alfie! Vanessa. Vanessa Heisel. A pleasure. Nice. Best friends. A sworn duty to ease suffering, eh? I like the sound of that. And I couldn't agree more. It's not about the coin we make. So long as I can keep myself fed, the joy of knowing I've eased someone's pain is all the payment I need. <laughs> I remember Zef just like, No, Alfie, why? <laughs> Please, take some money. <laughs> but of course, it is for that very purpose that I seek to ever hone my skills. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Best friends forever! Hey, would it be too much for me to ask to take a look at your pharmaceutics? Hmm? Well, just hearing about it, it's clear you're out of my league. The ingredients, the preparation, anything you could teach me, I'm all ears. Yeah, Alfie just wants to learn. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. You might undercut me. Ah, beg pardon. I understand. We do need to put food on the table after all. No need for apologies. You're quite the diligent one, aren't you? Oh, you bet. I'm still new to this after all. Every day I'm learning something new. Yeah, it is funny. You're right, Aqua. It's like, it's like, oh, I don't care about money all as long as I can feed myself. And Alfin's like, you're right, as long as you can feed yourself. And then it's like, oh, but no, I need to stay fed. And it's just like, what? <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad to know this town is in good hands. See you around. To be fair, Alfin was mentioning, like in the first one, that he just survives on weed and dandelions so like <laughs> it's a little difference in, in how much money some people need compared to him <laughs> hi i'm getting off i'll talk with you later you all right me friend fare thee well dot 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 Alrighty, where should I head now? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I'll take a stroll by the beach. 
Surely nothing important will happen there. Oh, no travel banter. I forget. I wonder if you can actually change and it will... That just happens. I really dislike the travel banter. That's like the one thing that I hope that they fix. Yeah, I hope they fix the travel banter in Octopath 2 because like, oh, if you don't have the right person at the exact right time, then you're just doomed and you have to look it up later or something. Ugh. Oh yeah, she was searching for the seashells. <gasps> she found the seashell, yes. Well now, looky here. Good afternoon. Hello again, Alfin. This is for you. Do you like it? Oh. What's this now? Hey, thanks. It's a beaut. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Well now. I didn't do much, but payment accepted. <laughs> I give the prettiest ones to Flynn. She likes them too. You don't say. You're really raking them in. I bet you could sell them at the markets for a small fortune. <laughs> I know. That's why I give most of them to Mother. Hmm. hmm? She cries sometimes because we don't have any money. I see. You don't say. How about you, Alfin? Do you have money? <laughs> I think you got me beat with all those shells, but I get by. Are you sure? I can give you some if you need them. Now listen here. <laughs> money does make the world go round. This much is true. But you know what, Ellen? You, Flynn, and your mother have each other. And that's more valuable than all the money in the world. Hmm. It is? You bet. You can bet on it. <laughs> mother says Flynn still needs to rest. Well, when she's feeling better, we're gonna come back and collect seashells together. Well, now. Don't you worry about that. That Vanessa knows her stuff. Flynn will be doing cartwheels in no time. I can't wait. Time to steal. No. <laughs> what is she? Damn it. Dang it. I always forget. What does she have left? A tough nut? Oh, that's actually not bad. Yeah. Oof. I would have to buy that probably. Seashells are worth some pocket change. Oh, wait. That's Animal Crossing. <laughs> Isn't it, Aqua? But, I mean, the problem with with seashells in, like, a, a seashore place is that there's, like, like, everyone could just pick them up. You'd have to, like, take them somewhere. You'd have to sell them to a merchant who's gonna, like, go somewhere else. Or, like, someone who can, like, glue them together to make art or something. You could make like a seashell necklace or something. That would probably be worth quite a bit. Huh? What's this? Something's going on over here. <gasps> oh, it's Vanessa again. There seems to be another commotion. Vanessa this, Vanessa that. <gasps> Miss Heisel, come quickly. My husband won't stop coughing. My sympathies. Oh dear, isn't that a shame? It seems there's a nasty malady going around. The Gabora Whooping Cough, it's called. It hails from a land far, far to the south. But worry not, among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. You don't say! Oh, Miss Heisel, I knew we could count on you. Indeed. My word, even the bottle is simply exquisite, and this will cure him, you say? But of course. It most certainly will. It's brewed from a very special type of moss, you see. 
One that only grows in a remote and quite treacherous location. Because of the rarity of the key reagent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. <gasps> Money is no object to us. We'll pay anything. Well... Splendid! In that case, 100,000 leaves of files should suffice. <clears throat> yeah, even Alfie is like, what? wait, what? <laughs> that is substantial. <sighs> Still, my dear daughter's life is at stake. I'll take it. I have no objections. If Lady Heisel made it, I'm sure it's worth every leaf. I'll take two. Goodness. For me as well. I'll spare no cost for the health of my loved ones. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, friends. Oh. Uh, Milady, I fear my Flynn has come down with the cough as well. <laughs> Aqua. Aqua. Oh, dear. Oh, the poor girl. You have my sympathies. Oh. I fear we do not have the coin that the gentry do, but... Here, this is my entire savings. Might you pray sell me a single file? Even just a sip. Anything to save my poor Flynn. I'm sorry. But my medicine is in high demand and short to supply. I simply cannot let go of it so cheaply. Please have mercy. My poor Flynn, whatever am I to do? Oh dear. Hmm, I'm almost sold out. I'd better go stock up on some you-know-what. Elfin is so angry it made the computer freeze. Holy. Holy! <laughs> he had to cut himself off before he said a bad word. Also, yes, Aqua, you figured it out. You should not trust her. She's a bad lady. Don't worry, Alfie's here to save the day. <laughs> oh, my poor, poor Flynn. Oh, merciful Aylbrick, pray bring the flame to light our path. Oh, my dearest, ever since I lost you, I have scarce been able to feed and clothe our girls. They have suffered far more than their share. And yet, every day they bring me seashells, they tell me to smile. Must I look on helpless as poor Flynn wastes away? Have I failed them once and for all? Oh, gods, if there is still mercy in the world, please save her. I pray with all my heart and soul. Criminy. <laughs> Criminy. Mind if I drop in for a bit? Huh? You, you're the <laughs> one scraggly, scruffy looking apothecary at your service. I may not be Miss Heisel, but if you need my help, it's yours. Uh... <gasps> Let me take a look. How about it? The gods may be all powerful, but a checkup never hurts. Yeah, Alfie, do it. Mm. Oh, cough. oh no, big coughs. Elfie. This isn't good. She's coughing so hard she can barely breathe. How did a rare disease from a far flung land come to this town, anyhow? Hmm. You said it was Vanessa's medicine that cured your daughter's fever, yes? Oh, yes. It worked like a miracle. I don't know. What kind of medicine was it? Uh... There are still a few drops left. Oh? Let me see it. <laughs> Aqua just, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> hmm. This aroma, 
It must have been brewed from Gabora Evergreen. Hmm. That would make sense. It's a potent fever reducer, after all. But I remember reading something else about it. What's this now? He just pulls out his book. Oh. Here it is. Gabora Evergreen, a flowering plant native to the tropical and subtropical regions of the continent of Gabora, known for its antipyretic properties. So antipyretic fever reducing. A cons... A constituent compound has been known to cause inflammation and swelling of the throat, inducing severe coughing. The symptoms resemble those of the whooping cough known to plague the land whence it hails. Due to the risk of severe and adverse reactions, use of Gabora Evergreen at any dosage is strongly discouraged. <gasps> Let that sink in. <laughs> that Vanessa, she couldn't have! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I can't share trade secrets with those in the business. <gasps> in the business? That's it, because they would any other apothecary would have known. Son of a <laughs> She knew exactly what she was doing. She gave the villagers that medicine for free, knowing full well that when the side effects kicked in. <laughs> oh, worry not. Among my wares is a tonic that will cure it overnight. Because of the rarity of the key reagent, I fear I must charge a substantial fee. Shucks. She induced those symptoms on purpose so she could sell her overpriced elixir. That twisted, conniving... Hold tight, Flynn. I'll have you feeling better in no time. Give me two gifs and I'll brew you up just the thing. <laughs> Thank you. Alvin. Huh? Vanessa said something about special moss. A moss that can cure coughing. Mm. That's it. Miss, have you ever seen a moss around here that gr glows blue? That grows mm. blue? Moss? I've never heard of such a thing. Hmm. But I don't get out of town much. You might try asking around. Here we go. Gotcha. I'll be back with just the thing I need to cure Flynn's cough for good. You bloody better. <laughs> wow, Ellen, watch your tongue. <laughs> Stop that at once. Yeah, where did you learn such language, Ellen? <laughs> he he he. You just sit tight and keep Flynn company, okay, Ellen? All right, time to start asking around. Inquire around a town. Ooh, what is this mysterious person who just magically appeared? A coachman by trade, he puts the safety of his customers above all else and refuses to traverse dangerous regions regardless of the payment offered. Owing to this experience, he must knows many a shortcut and back road. He knows something about Vanessa's destination. who leads a life of luxury, turning his nose up at though all not born into privilege. His elitist attitudes have in turn earned him the ire of the common folk and no few fellow noblemen. <laughs> Even the nobles think he's a jerk. <laughs> nice chatting with ya. Gossip of glowworm, a moss. All right. So Vanessa set out for the caves of Azure to the east. Got it. Who, who would have thought that blue moss grows in the cave of Azure? It's a mystery. <laughs> oh yeah, this lady. I remember this lady. What is it? She won't even let me steal because the item is too... The item is like, I guess, unstealable at this level maybe?
Oh right. Now that I'm now that I remember, uh, let me learn a skill. I wanna. Last time he was kind of running out of SP, so if I just give him skill SP, it should be fine for now. All right. Oh, I need to talk. This one's. I need to find out about Laman. He's trying to find a, a sidekick or something. So I gotta find someone who would want to hang out with him. All right, let's go. <gasps> Secrets. There we go. Let oh. us fight with honor. Hello. I am ready. some levels. May I have this dance? Oh, I surprised my foe. I am ready. Fire. Nighthood, bring your shade. Oh. <laughs> Try again. Oh, I love, I love Alfie. I love Alfie's last stand. To be fair, I think I gave him a super overpowered, like, like axe that like I think I stole off of a guy with like a 10% chance so um, he's kind of overpowered right now <laughs> Good job. That'll do her. Always make I'm your ready. favorites overpowered. Always give them the best stuff. You're right. Exactly. The 
Let's see what you got. Ooh, that guy's scary. I am ready. I don't like him. Nighthood, bring your shade. So good. Ow. Please stop the assaulting truly joy. the people that will probably die if you assault them. Oh, you missed. My Got it. Okay. I was like, what happened there? Here we go. That'll do her. How about you? I will cut you down! Bring it on! This calls for surgery! Ah, weak to axes, huh? <laughs> Luckily, I have an axe with your name on it. I am ready. Fire. He only had like Don't two. Don't start things you can't finish. He only had like two hit points left, so I only got eight, eight SP. That sucks when that happens, but at least I got back a little bit. Darn it! Let's see what you got. I kind of want to run now that that happens, but oh, I surprised him. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Really? Now then. <laughs> All right. I am ready. I appreciate it. Really? There we go. That's the SP that I want. Nighthood, bring your shade. Victory shall be. Here goes nothing. This calls for certain. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Carrion gained a level. Ooh. Watching footage of this gives me more motivation to continue the first Octopath and eventually play the full game, but I need to finish others first. That's fine. That's fine. That's why I'm here for. So you can see how, how to play the game and then play it well so you can go fast. It's a fun game. It's like, I mean, yeah, I'm not saying a lot because I'm thinking, but like, it's lots, it's lots of what, you. Tango, huh? It's lots of you, apparently. <laughs> uh, do you like fire? I wouldn't think a sea slug would like fire. They probably burn up. Dang. Yeah. Oh, he's he's not weak to any weapons. Here we go. Which kind of makes sense, like if you're talking about like a flan or whatever, that would make sense. Feeling feverish? Hey! Over here! 
Yeah. Nice. Good job. Nice work attacking the like one person. Fire. <laughs> the battle is truly joined. I will cut you down. Oh, weak to swords, it seems. <laughs> Nice. I had a feeling. I am ready. Fire. No. I wonder. I have trade wins. Might as well try it. Hey. Bring it on. He has terrible magic. <laughs> I love ma like max boosted 30 damage. <laughs> there, yeah. Well, usually, yeah, you'd screw around and find out. But the best thing to do is um, get uh, uh, Cyrus. Always have Cyrus on your team because he will like just constantly analyze everything so that you don't have to try it. In fact, where is it? Skills. Yeah, see, analyze, you can learn this and it'll reveal one weakness. But Cyrus, like every battle, he just automatically learns one. And it's just so broken. It's so good for that. So, yeah, I'll never, like, I do it because I try and, like, mix up the characters and stuff. But no, always keep Cyrus on your team. Never make him leave if you can. In fact, you might as well just make him your main party member so that he nev the game won't let you leave. Ugh, won't let you get rid of him. Anyway, um, Therian managed to open that purple chest, and I got Falcon Garb, which Therian already has. Jeez, even that. That thing is good. Oh yeah, I spent like a bajillion dollars to get a second one for Honey. Who has like zero defense? We'll give it to you. Yeah because you are a squishy, squishy girl right now. Oh, I see another purple chest up there. How do I get there? Rub your face on everything and hope that you find Let's something. Let's see what you got. Out of my way. I appreciate it. Really? You missed? Therian, you missed? For shame, Therian. For shame. I am ready. Fire. Here goes nothing. Is truly joined. Oh yeah. So here's another small thing you can tell. See how the crabs, the um, the dagger is in the furthest to the left. That means they cannot be weak to swords because swords, for whatever reason, it's on a line essentially, and swords are always the furthest left. So if you see furthest left, not swords. Uh, so you can remember small mnemonics like that. I know someone has a mnemonic that has like, yeah. Um, and then if the I recall, and then if I recall, like the magic goes like fire, ice, go. lightning, wind, and then dark and then light, or one of those two. I just know that light and dark are the last two. So, like, if you start figuring that kind of stuff out, it becomes a lot easier to figure out what, where everything is. I am ready. Fire. Out of my way. I appreciate it. Really? The 
battle is truly joy. But if they're battle, I grow strong. If they're already almost dead, you might as well just not bother. <laughs> oh wait, we're going this way. There we go. This way. Up. A another purple. By the way, purple chest can only be opened by Therian, which is another reason why I picked him, because I metagamed the crap out of this. Spiked armor. Oh, just straight up a bunch of physical defense. What do you have? Iron armor? Oh, that's like the worst. Yeah, get yourself something nice. Treat yourself, Oberic. If I recall, the best people to bring... <laughs> you won't feel a thing. The best people to bring, like, to random stuff will be Cyrus, um, Therian, and, um, and Tressa. Because every time you enter a new area, Tressa has a chance of, like, picking up random money. Um, and then the last one, you can just choose whatever you want. Um, personally, I bring Alfin because Concoct is so broken, but, yeah. If you're not sure, like, who you want to bring, those are the three that are, like, super good. I'll just bring do rain and hope I hit those two. Hey. One. Aw, are you serious? Therian, please. Therian is a thief. Every day is treat yourself day. That's true, Aqua. Ice, splinter and shard. Nope, not weak to that. How about Wait, no, no, warrior, just level. I will cut you down! Oh, did you miss him? Alright. Obi please! Obi, I love you. Obi, no. Well, I'll just start stealing some SPs. Don't mind if I do. Om nom nom. <laughs> I appreciate it. Really? Why is Therian missing? No, Therian, please. Out of my way. Over here. Uh, here we go. Uh, concoct. We'll use a soothing seed plus what is it? Um, Nox root, I think. Try this. There we go. Okay. I'm ready. Shoo! <laughs> I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. Did it? Did it? Did it not cure? Did it not do it? Therian, I beg, I beg of you, please hit. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Jeez. I am. Watch me now. The show is over. I saw a secret passage, but not. Nah. Ah, oh, there she is! Alright, let's use some healing grapes. Uh, do I need a plum? Maybe on Olby. Oh, Olby. Let's do it! Yeah, Aqua! Let's get her! Oh no, does she also have a bunch of slaves? Ah, <sighs> now to harvest myself some glowworm moss. Can't keep my well-paying patients waiting. <laughs> oh, to think this moss would bring me a king's ransom. 
have known this job could be so profitable. Howdy, Vanessa. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> So you sniffed out my supply, huh? Well, you're not as stupid as you look. That medicine you gave the townspeople for their fevers was brewed from Gabora Evergreen, wasn't it? <laughs> that was your plan all along. To induce the side effects so you could sell the remedy at a premium. <laughs> you catch on quick. I travel the land selling my potions and salves for more leaves than you'll see in a lifetime. What do lay folk know of illnesses and their cures? Nothing. That's what makes this job so easy. If it weren't for rival apothecaries like you. What happened to your sworn duty to ease suffering? Alfie, I'll, I'll Alfie, I'll if you ha haven't figured it out yet, that was a ruse. <laughs> Here's some advice, little puppy. Don't trust anything you can get for free. A stately mansion, lavish dresses, fine wine. Why shouldn't everything I want be mine? You're free to have what you want, but I won't let you deceive the weak and vulnerable to get it. Sorry, Alfie. Time to put you six feet under. Using your knowledge to inflict pain for profit? You're a disgrace to our profession. Doesn't it make you feel anything to see people suffer? <laughs> Should it? The ailing, the injured, they're tools to an end. Just like the little kittens I <gasps> test my tonics on. Oh. She's a puppy kicker, too. They bring me leaves by the bucket. And when they've outlived their usefulness, they die. Oh, she's just talking about regular people and not just animal testing. E either way, it's pretty terrible, but I was just... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, testing on, like, testing, like, stuff on humans is terrible too. That's why we do it on rats. But, like, mmm, <laughs> it's still really horrible. Do you cry when you toss away a broken flask? Well then, why should I? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, there's no cure for a rotten heart. Oh, beer, 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 beer. Oh, snap. Oh, so you don't care for my philosophy. Perhaps you'd care to die instead, hmm? My ample wealth has allowed me to secure good insurance. You're a threat to my business, and you don't seem like the type to go home quietly. Or the type to keep your mouth shut, even if you did. You're God's damned right I won't. Oh, snap. On the contrary, I'm going to brew a remedy and help those people. Not for profit. But because easing people's suffering is what I do. How noble. But here's my diagnosis. You can't cure stupid. <laughs> that shabby sense of justice will prove fatal. There you go. Oh, no. Just about the same. <laughs> this should be fun. My turn. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. First shackle her. Bring it on. That I, I did the wrong thing. It was leg trap. It's leg trap. I pressed the. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I'm very bad. It's okay. That was my fault. I understand. Okay, she's weak to axes, but not the guards. Okay. I am ready. Fire. She is weak to fire. That would make sense. The battle is truly no, joined. It wouldn't make sense. Oh, what if they're weak to ice, though? I will cut you down. Okay, there we go. 
starting to cook with some gas here. Bring it on. Try this. Over here. My turn. What about ice? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, no, then. Alfie, Alfie is a uh, apothecary, and they use ice, so that would make sense. I will cut you down. There goes Prim. Uh, everyone else touched it. Prim, please. Here. It's How fine. Much? They have they have more attack power. That was that was the reason. But it's fine. I got this. I got this. Lake hole trap. Down. So let's keep that up. There we go. Okay. All right. I love how we've just blinded her like several times over. <laughs> One and two. Sorry about that. Oh wait. I think I need to do that. There we go. Now she might do more damage. Yep, yep, yep. I was using her attack dagger, so it was doing less damage. How about you? Alright. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Thousand spears will work then. That's that's gonna be good. Thief skills. They give me some SPs. I appreciate it. Really. Here we go. Uh, pop carry. I could I could just first aid. But I have so many soothing seeds and essence of grapes, so it's not Try a this. problem. I am ready. Oh, wrong one. Fireball. Fire. No! And she was attacking first! You jerk! Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, I'll just wake her up. Uh, poison, silence, blindness, confusion, sleeping. Here. There we go. Here we go. Uh, pocket carry. Do I want a pocket carry? No. Uh, injure a seed plus Oxford. How do you like this? And poison. Thank no. you. I love that. Like she's supposed to be an apothecary, so she poisons and puts you to sleep, and then we're just poisoning, putting her to sleep, like blinding her. We're doing like literally everything. Uh, actually, I will defend. I think not. Oof. Was that on Alfie? Nope on everyone. Darn. I was hoping. I was praying. The battle is truly joined. <laughs> I am ready. Uh, okay, so I will dance. I will lion dance Alfie. The yeah. lion dance. Okay, okay. Arian will armor corrosive. I see through your defenses. Alfie Bring it on. will start with SP. Don't mind if I do. Nom nom nom. Thank you. And here Out we go. Way. Let's do this. Nom nom. Thank you. Bring it on. Alrighty. Nom nom. Oh, it looks like gang green. Ha! Better amputate. I'm ready. Uh, my favorite. The lion dance. And the battle is truly my blade is unbending. Cross the strike. <laughs> Om nom. Not even as close to Alfie. Are they gonna protect her? They are definitely gonna protect her. I knew it. N I knew it. It's okay. I we can still damage her. We just can't reduce her. So if we keep doing the stuff we were doing before, just constantly. Watch me now. Be in my yeah. Limits. See, we can still hit her, but like, it's not gonna do as much damage. Got him. Here goes nothing. This calls for surgery. The battle is truly joined. I will cut you down. How about you? Here we go. Out of my way. No wait, Hunter. Did I hold on Vanessa? Slow down. An <laughs> incidental attack, thank you. Watch me now. Watch me now. Oh no. Oh. Well, rip Primrose. Oh, here. Damn. Okay, 
Okay, he's good, he's good. No, item. Actually, I forgot I had these. I should probably use some. Alright, um... Where was it? It's way at the bottom. Toy. Use this! Okay, okay. <laughs> I should probably just use some of these. There we go. Take this! Oh! Okay! <laughs> Bye! Right. No, no, there we go. There we go. Okay, we Try should this. Nice. Yowchia! Seriously? Oh no. They're soft and raging. No! no. Darian, please! You had me? I will cut you down! Alright! That'll do her. Yeah, bye 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 Vanessa. Get out of here. I appreciate it. Really? I am ready. Come on, please finish. The best. Come on! Almost! Bring it! Come on, Elfie! Finish us off! Ha! Hey! Good boy! Ha! Try again! Easy! Easy game, easy life! Flawless victory! Yes, Aqua, I love it. <laughs> Damn it all! I paid good coin for them! The game's up. I'll be taking this moss now. And I've alerted the guards. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn yourself in. Alright, you've got me. I repent, I repent. She's trying to run. Hmm. Hmm. Sussed out your escape route already? <gasps> <laughs> I'm not as naive as I look. Now listen here. <laughs> I brought a special treat just for you. This isn't good. Wait, that's... Now then. I had a feeling you'd recognize it. Slumberthorn, the most powerful sleep-inducing substance in the realm. One prick and the next thing you know, you'll be waking up on a dungeon floor. Oh, no! <laughs> Get it? Maybe one day you can start over as a real apothecary. If they ever let you out. Ugh, you'll pay for this, you stupid, naive. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Z, Z, Z. Now then. That'll keep her quiet until the guards come. Now I'll just help myself to some of this moss. Scrapey, scrapey. <laughs> All right. That'll do her. Hold on tight, Flynn. I'm on my way. I just noticed that, like, every time Alfie has to, like, heal someone, it's always a little girl. Now then. What do you intend to do about that woman? Vanessa? I reckon I'll let her stool in jail and ponder all she's done. Jail or no, she doesn't strike me as the type to turn introspective. Maybe. Maybe not. But I figure she's tossing and turning something fierce about now. What do you mean? See, Slumberthorn has other potential effects. Less well known. It can prick a person's conscience, for example. If there's something in your heart you'd rather avoid, it'll come out in your sleep instead. As a nightmare. That's right. How she'll deal with that when she wakes up is up to her. But I warrant she is having second thoughts about what she did. Well, I hope so. Why? For my sake? 
just be careful. All right? <laughs> Therian knows that Alfie's gonna get a dagger in the back the moment she gets out of jail. It's okay, Therian. You can protect him. How are you feeling now? Um... Better? Oh my! Her cough, it's gone! And my throat, it doesn't hurt anymore! <laughs> Glad to hear it. You saved my daughter's life, how can I ever begin to repay you? It's all the house. The moss didn't cost me anything after all. Yeah, but maybe a night at the inn? <laughs> How could I have been so wrong? You were the true apothecary. Pray forgive my rudeness earlier, good sir. <laughs> no skin off my nose. Your girl's healthy again. That's all that matters to me. Thanks. Thank you, Alfin. Finally, I can go gather seashells with Ellen again. <laughs> go have all the fun you want. Be safe here. And with that, I'd best be off. There are other people out there who need this medicine. And once I've done my job and everyone in Goldshore is hale and hearty, it'll be time to hit the road again. <gasps> See ya. Till we meet again. Thanks. Thank you ever, ever so much. <laughs> the little twins now behind then. them. <laughs> the little twins behind the barrels watching him. <laughs> Where out there is someone in need of a fixer upper? Nothing! <gasps> it's so cute, oh. right? Ellen, Flynn. It's so cute, right, Aqua? Oh my gosh. Us, I love that their names, L. Flynn, L. Finn. Aw, <laughs> uh... oh, we were trying to surprise you. <laughs> You're already looking 100%, ain't you, Flynn? I'm all better now, thanks to you. Y'all. But what's this? Have you two been rolling around in the dirt all day? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. <laughs> ho! These are for you! <gasps> the seashells! Wowzers! Seashells! And scores of them! We found them together! Flynn and me! Alfin said wowzers. Alfin confirmed Inspector Gadget. Thank you for helping us, Alfin. Take care, okay? Shucks. Aw, shucks. <laughs> we found as many as we could. We know you're poor. Oh, baby. Is this going to be enough? I reckon it'll keep me fed for a while. You didn't have to. Y'all take care of your mother now, you hear? <gasps> He's crying! Alfie's crying! Not a baby! I love them! Cronuts aren't supposed to cry! <laughs> Even grown-ups need a good cry from time to time. Oh, baby! Stay healthy for me, will ya? Remember, Alfin's mother died, and so he doesn't have any family, so... Oh. <laughs> He's probably remembering the times he spent with his mom as a baby. Yeah, yeah, Aqua. You too, Alfin. You <laughs> too. Oh, everyone. Now you're crying too.
You were always my hero. An unreachable ideal. But heck, if I ain't getting closer by the day. Oh, my heart! This is another reason why Elfie is the best one. And so, Elfin bid farewell to Goldshore, more convinced than ever of his chosen path. Though his travels had only just begun, one town was already happier for his presence. And so, he set forth for Saintsbridge in the Riverlands, eager to see what his journey had in store. He's a good boy, isn't he, Aqua? He's such a sweetheart. The Quack. Achievement unlocked the Quack. Press L to hear the final travel banter. Elfin. Are you crying? What? No, of course not. I just... <laughs> I'm so in my eye. The sweat. That's it. My eyes got all sweaty and... No, I mean it's a bit of dust in my eyes. Both of them. Elfin. There's no shame in showing your emotions. Those little ones adored you, after all. You'll be a wonderful father someday, I'm sure of that. F father Now, do look after those shells, won't you? Oh, uh, <laughs> right. Hmm. Aw, oh, shucks. Another speck of dust! Oh, dear. Oh, oh my gosh, I wonder. Inventory. Valuables. Oh, I was hoping. No, wait. Is it there? There is like one. That... Yeah, Yusufa's handkerchief. A rock egg. I was hoping that the sh seashells would be a valuable, but nah. We just have Zef Satchel. That's the one. Oh. That was a good ending. I really liked it. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging, Aqua. That was lots of fun. I'm gonna overwrite save the game this time. And I am going to stop this here.